Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, you came back. In this week's video, what I have for you is a sweater nail tutorial. So I've seen a lot of sweater nail tutorials on YouTube, but I do like a different pattern than a lot of them, and I also do mine a little bit different. So if that is something that you're into seeing, go ahead and stick around and let's get into it. Okay, sweater nails. So on this hand, I'm gonna do a sweater nail, and the color I used is DP02, that's on my ring finger, and then I used Revels Gentle, that is on these three fingers, and then I started with Delicate White, but it was like too see-through, so I switched to Eye Gel Baby Powder. Thank you, Mandy, for sending me some of these. Um, and that's the one that I ended up, I did like two dips of baby powder over like a dip or two of delicate white. So here are the tools that I'm using. Um, this is like the brush from Sparkle & Co. My jewel fell out. Um, but I'm using like the super fine tip and really any brush with a super fine tip. And then this is also something I use. Uh, this is so I can like clean up anything that might not be perfectly straight and freak me out. So. Um, and then I did do a matte top coat. I used aisle 21 matte top coat. And I have a little baggie here. If you don't use these little baggies, like, I use them for everything. I use them to pat down my glitters. I use them to put my gels on. So I want to show you these. This one I did with, like, a matte top coat. Or not a matte top coat. A gel top coat. And then I just sugared it and it turned out like this. This one, I mix a little bit of the powder in with a gel, a white gel polish, just to make it a little thicker. As you can see, I messed up in a couple of places, but it made the lines so much thinner, so much easier to work with. It stood up better. It didn't get all wide and like weird like this one did. So that is definitely the way I would totally recommend doing it. And that is the way I'm going to do it right now when I show you. So there are many ways that you can do a sweater design. A lot of people do the like little S's, but I'm gonna do something like this just because it was in the picture that Tori sent me that, and Tori asked me to do this. So here you go, Tori, I'm doing it. Put about that much gel polish onto the baggie. And then I'm gonna take one of these swatches and, oh my gosh, how tight did I shut that? Hello? Okay. And take a little of the powder and just like a little it's like like that much for now like equal parts okay we'll see how that mixes and I might add a little more of whatever and take a toothpick and mix it together that might be too much powder that was definitely too much powder Maybe not. Maybe you don't listen to me. Okay, let's just mix all the powder in at equal parts. See what happens. So as you can see, it becomes so much like, almost like spider gel. Spider gel would be easier to like draw with, right? Cause it's got like that thicker consistency and doesn't like move around so much. And that's what we like when we're doing art. I'm just pushing it back together into a blob. And okay. So, man, I'm so nervous, man. <laughs> Draw a straight line. Um, that's one of the things that's making me so nervous is now I have to draw straight lines on my hand. It's so much easier with swatches that I can hold up to my face, but I have to try and do it on my nail. So I take just a little bit, as you can see of gel polish. I'm going to try and just draw a straight line. And it doesn't have to be perfect, thank god, because I could never, could never do it perfect. I'm not a professional. I can't draw a straight line to save my life. So I just try and go like a little bit at a time. And 
So one of my tips is I'm not really drawing. I'm more like dragging, as you can see. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. But when you sugar it, you'll hardly be able to tell. So another thing that's going to be difficult is trying to tell where is about even for the other line. Does that look about right? Yes, yeah, so that looks wide, but that's okay. When in doubt, use less product. That's what I always say. Because you can always add more, but taking off is a little more difficult. I really like that. So I'm like a multi-curer and I know it's like bad or whatever, but I just don't want to mess those lines up. So move your gel out of the way of the light, like for real out of the way, or it's going to cure it a little bit and then give that 60 seconds. Oh my gosh. Don't cure it. You got to dump powder on it. Oh my gosh. Did I mess it up? Sorry guys, I'm a wee bit distracted today. Um, hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna like draw a line over my lines that I have already. Just to make a little bit thicker lines, right? And then I'll actually sugar it. Oh my gosh, don't be distracted. I'm glad that you guys have said that you really like watching me mess up because it teaches you that everybody messes up and that's true. And I mess up like almost literally every time I do my nails. And it drives me crazy. Oh, and the person next to us reefer just turned on and that is really loud. I don't know if you guys can hear that. If there's any Virgos watching, I know you get it. Okay, now when you get your lines the way you like them, then you just dump the powder over. Don't dip into it, you'll mess up your lines. And that is how you sugar. And then... And then you move this out of the way. And then you cure it. 60 seconds. Now I want my brush to be like clean so I can get nice good lines. I'm taking some alcohol. Um, just some 70% rubbing alcohol and I'm just gonna clean my brush off real quick make it easier to work with and I'm gonna take my kabuki brush and just dust that off real gentle oh I think that had a little red on it <laughs> Oh, my life. Okay. That's all right. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Okay. 
I hate this part. So this part I'm going to go side to side and just basically make X's. And I want them to be like as even as possible. This is what we have our silicone thing for. I don't really like how this is coming over like this. So you just take the silicone and you kind of just push it over or wipe it off. So you can start over. Wow, oh, my hands are shaky. Don't drink coffee. I didn't drink coffee. I don't drink caffeine, but my hands are just shaky. But if you're gonna do this, I don't recommend drinking coffee. Maybe have a glass of wine, calm your nerves. I did not have a glass of wine. Maybe I should have. Try that again. I keep wanting to say it doesn't have to be perfect, but like in my head, I'm like, it's not good enough. So, yes, inner, inner turmoil. Okay, we are gonna call that good enough. Jeez Louise. Are we gonna, are we really Rachel? Are we gonna call it good enough? There, now we're gonna call it good enough. Are we though? Yes, okay, we gotta move on. Oh Lord, okay. like try your best to have them cross like in the middle of these two lines and like start the little sides at the same side and cross like in the middle this way that's how you're gonna keep it the most even but it doesn't have to be perfect because nobody is going to be looking that closely at your nails and if they are it's really rude so but if you're like me and i know a lot of you are that's easier said than done I do feel like mixing the powder in, it does like continue to thicken. So there is that. You do kind of have to work at a good clip. Okay, I'm gonna wash that off again. I could probably add more gel polish to it to thin it out, but I don't want to. Okay, so I've got my brush, my clean brush again. See how it's like, oh, it's getting thicker. That's okay. Now I'm gonna put dots. Dot, dot, dot. The 
scary part is putting the dots on the in these inside ones because they're very tight. But you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Oh my gosh, my hand is shaking. Okay. And then on the sides, I want to kind of like make little like boxes. That'll hopefully look cute. And again, I'm trying to keep it even to the other side. I mean, relatively, right? That is not a good box. Oh well. Could I take my silicone tool and fix it? I sure could. Am I going to? Nope. I'm sure the fuck not going to. And that is that, and then I'm just gonna put some more powder on it. Pour it over, turn my finger side to side to get it all good and, oops, <laughs> holy shit. And then 60 seconds in the lamp. Okay. Then you can just dust it off. And boom, sweater nail. Okay, okay. Happy Thanksgiving, I'll be back with a picture. So what did you guys think of that video? Did you like that video? Do you like tutorials? I feel like a broken record asking you this every fucking time. Did you find anything useful or helpful from that tutorial? I told you I'd do it a little bit different than, than the couple that I have watched. And it's also like a different pattern than I was able to find anywhere on YouTube. So hopefully somebody got something good out of it and some kind of good information. If you do like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to me already, go ahead and subscribe. If you have a comment or a question, go ahead and leave it down below. The links to my Facebook group, my Amazon shopping list, and my Instagram are all in the description along with all of the products that I've used. So if you missed it in the video, it is going to be linked down below. And all of the tools that you see me using, you can find all of those on my Amazon shopping list and you can have them too. Um, so yeah. That's all I have for you this week, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye! I think my cycle is about to start. The start is when you bleed, right? It's so fucking confusing. That's the begin- like, day one of bleeding is day one of your cycle, right? Does anybody else get to that point in their cycle where they, like, welcome depression? Not like- I'm not, like, talking, like, clinical depression, but, like, I need to cry depression like I want to relive 15 year old Rachel's emo phase like there is not enough black eyeliner to make me feel satiated right now like I just want to wear like a black hoodie over my head and welcome the sadness like you're on your Pandora your Spotify your Apple music you're like looking for those no songs that just inevitably make you cry no matter what <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have like dry shampoo all over my hoodie. If you catch me walking down the street with like white residue all over my sweatshirt, just white 
handprints on my black clothes like mind your business i want to look emo but i also want to have like clean looking hair okay got no lip stuff again today which i'm sorry for but you know as you know i left all of my lip glosses at home I'm rocking just the sleep mask again and honestly i just didn't feel like putting on lipstick because this winter weather has been really rough on my chapness so i just been rocking this lately a friend, she's like my best friend ever. She got involved in an MLM. And now I feel really bad because I love her and I support her and I think she should do whatever the fuck she wants to do. She's a stay at home mom, so, and she bartends every now and then, but she like, you know, COVID. So it's been good for her to like do this MLM that she's doing and she actually uses it and really, really likes it. But like now every time she texts me or messages me, I'm like, like, I feel like if you're gonna MLM, like keep your friends out of it, right? Like don't, like you, aren't you supposed to like, hit up the girl from high school that you used to like pick on and like call ugly and push down all the time isn't that the one that you're supposed to like peddle your wares to like not your like actual friend that you like visit on friday right but bro i don't want your fucking i don't want your i don't want your 